Okay, on this newly installed Windows 2016 server, I am wanting to use Wi-Fi, but by default, that is not included. Now, you can install this from a PowerShell script, but I um, think I'm going to use the server manager um, and install it as a feature. So I'm going to come in here, I'm going to go to Manage, and Add Roles and Features. And basically, I want to get down to Features. But I can just click next and take the defaults because I want to do it for this server. And once I get down to features, I'm going to scroll down to wireless LAN service. Now, once I've added that, I'm going to click next. I usually click the restart automatically because I don't have to worry about, you know, anybody um, being notified. And we're going to go ahead and install this service. And the feature is going to be installed, and we'll see if we need to reboot or not for the Wi-Fi. It may be different on different systems depending on the motherboard and hardware and uh, different drivers, etc. And it looks like it's going to go ahead and restart for us because I checked the check mark. Log back in. And the install has completed here with the wireless LAN service, but um, I'm not getting networks here, and I'm guessing that's because the service has not started. If I right-click here, um, go to Computer Management, go down to Services, I've added the Wi-Fi service, but it has not been started yet. WLAN auto config. We start this service. Now that it's running, we now see this icon has changed, not connections, but connections are now available. I'm going to click here, and I'm going to click on the virtual network that I want to connect. I'm going to go ahead and leave it on connect automatically. And we are now connected to the internet. So that is enabling the Wi-Fi networking. Mm -hmm.